Hi everyone, Christian with your guidance for this week of April 14th. And we're gonna be working with Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light Oracle deck. This is one of my favorite Oracle decks because it works with the Ascended Masters. And if you're not familiar with the Ascended Masters, check out my Akashic podcast this week. And we're going to break down each one of the seven um, Ascended Masters that holds the virtues of God. So it's gonna be a really good seven weeks upcoming for that. And as always, my social media, Instagram at Stone Street Akashic, that's where I'm the most active. Facebook at Stone Street Akashic, YouTube at Stone Street Akashic as well. And also, I do have some very good announcements coming in on social media, so you might want to check that out. So let's get started with your Monday, Tuesday. And Monday, Tuesday, you get Bridget. And what Bridget is telling you right away is that you need to be grounded. So the red in the flame, the red in her hair, that represents your root chakra. And it's telling you that you need to be grounded for all the energies that you're going to be dealing with Monday, Tuesday. As you ground yourself, as you set the intention to ground yourself, you see the green color of healing in her robes and in the background. So what's, what that is telling you is once you're grounded, you'll be ready to go, you'll be balanced, and you'll be able to deal with all those energies. So now this is going to carry into Wednesday, Thursday. Because if you're balanced come Wednesday, Thursday, and you're ready to handle things, you get Odin. And Odin is a Nordic warrior. He's the holder of the runic alphabet. And runes are another type of divination. I'm not crazy familiar with it, so I won't give you the story. And what Odin is telling you is to follow your intuition. But if you're not grounded, your intuition is going to be all over the place. So as you ground yourself, your intuition is going to give you the answers that you need to hear in order for you to follow them. And likewise, what Odin is asking you is to look at is to look through things just don't look at the surface use your third eye and your psychic powers to be able to see through whatever the situation is and you'll get the specific answer so you're going to be getting lots of symbols but in order for you to follow these symbols and recognize them you need to be grounded you need to ground yourself so what i would do is on sunday night and Monday morning and Tuesday morning, I would set the intention to be grounded and have my lower energy bodies grounded as I go throughout the week. So that's Wednesday, Thursday. And now as we go into the weekend, you get the Holy Amethyst. And right away, the Akashic Records are telling me transmutation. So the violet color is the color transmutation. And what that means is taking lower vibrational energies and transforming them into fifth dimensional higher vibrational energies. What they're telling me right now is do not dwell on the past. Do not dwell on what didn't go your way. You can be sad, yes, absolutely. Let those feelings out. And then after that, focus on what you want to achieve and be thankful that maybe things didn't go your way, maybe things didn't happen how you expected them to be, but look at the lesson behind it. Look at the lesson and the blessing that is coming with it. So that is your guidance for this week. And I'll just recap here. So Monday, Tuesday, you want to be well grounded. As you are well grounded, you'll be balanced and ready to take on what's coming. If you're well grounded and balanced, you'll be able to follow your intuition better and to your, through your third eye, be able to be able to see through whatever is going on and get the right answers. And at the same time, you'll be able to recognize all of the symbols that are going to be coming your way. Just looking at the symbology of the card, you see the runic alphabet back here. You see birds, crows, you see um, the clouds and the storm. So you'll be able to see things and be able to discern a lot better. And finally, with the holy amethyst, do not dwell in the past and do not, do not dwell on what didn't happen. Focus on what's next and what you want to achieve. And those things will come. So that is your guidance. Have a great week. Uh, for a lot of us, or for some of you, it is a short week. Um, because Friday, everything is closed. So if this resonates with you, I would appreciate it if you liked it and shared it. And as much, as many people as we can share this information with, the better. All right. Have a great